oh yeah, we had this over the weekend. People were protesting in London, um, obviously protesting against the uh, lockdowns and um, pushing forward with the idea that they wanted things to open up on the 5th of July. So push forward the date of our freedom. And it seems like techno Twitter people are quite divided on this sort of um, approach to doing things. Um, so they did this whole like save our scene I don't know what it was some sort of uh, process thing and part of it was that they had this um, van with a DJ booth set up where they had DJs playing and shit um, kind of you know again their way of protesting who knows what the idea or what the kind of uh, intention was behind it but for the most part people seemed to be enjoying themselves it was recording the amount of people when they went out to protest the whole streets of London were completely packed with people wall to wall and it just feels like some people are just fed up in it they're fed up they want to have their normal lives uh, back again they want to have some level of autonomy the people that are involved in the nightlife scene or dance music want to be able to go back to doing their jobs and doing what they actually love and it just feels as if like all these unnecessary delays are again unnecessary um probably without merit and they need to they need feel the need they feel obliged to fight for their scene and kind of push back against some of this nonsense that we see going on at the moment where people are waiting for a magical number of zero to get down to in terms of covid cases and deaths in order for the world to reopen and that just isn't going to happen unfortunately and like i said at the beginning of the show we're in a kind of weird predicament where they're kind of finally going to have to get to a point where they decide what what's the am amount of deaths that they're willing to kind of put up with in order to get the world back up and running and it's just kind of an unfortunate part of dealing with this kind of annoying virus that we have now at the moment so this is a video obviously on twitter it says here from this lady called hannah once that was the best day since i remember after 16 long months out of the game today reminded me exactly what i and we are missing no feeling will ever come close music is everything it's a video of a course of people playing on this flow and people in protesting and hype and enjoying themselves let's play a bit of the video no one's coming Say, mad whites of course because you know this is just the type of music that they kind of like so it is what it is and maybe they're more you know prone or up for going to a protest in general right you're not going to get a lot of you know unless it's something to do with our actual community you're not going to get a lot of blacks and you know brown people deciding to go out in the streets of london and protest something like this because it's just not within our interest i guess for the most part so that's one observation to make out of it where's the noisy crew Don't get me wrong, it looks sloppy as fuck, but it does look like fun. Let's not deny, let's not act like that doesn't look like fun. It does look like some level of fun. It looks sloppy, it looks like everyone's there is probably like, you know, off their face on care or whatnot, but it does look slightly like fun. But this person on Twitter, Will Lester, said to save our scene, obviously taking the piss. Um, people say never too much remix is just whatever. Um, 16 long months about to get even longer after gathering of this full fast, full fest. Yeah, I get it. There is this idea that, you know, um, all these impromptu, unnecessary, illegal events are somehow going to negatively impact um, the dates that we have set forward now in terms of getting things reopened. And I kind of do understand that, right? Like, what's the point of putting this sort of stuff together when we're, we're going to be somewhat back to normal in a few weeks anyway? But then in response, maybe those people would say there is no confirmation or guarantee that once they reopen things again that they're not going to just close them back up again right so this is their kind of way of protesting against it and reminding people that regardless of what the rules are they're going to continue doing what they want which will inevitably they feel like put some pressure on the government to make sure if they do open things up again that there's no going back i don't know another guy here says it's like they couldn't wait to get back to the dance floor sorry get their phones out mm, i don't know what he says is there no you can keep it so cringe i can taste the tangerine in the air from here sma to laughing so i understand the sentiment but it does feel like there is so there's a weird sort of like in kind of um 
there's a weird sort of like silent class war with these things it feels like going on again the music isn't for me it's definitely to a, it's definitely catered to a specific crowd of people but it does feel like there's a bit of like snobbery and maybe elitism when it comes to some of these sort of um pushbacks i see on social media because obviously for some weird reason i don't know why it is it seems like for the most part the tech house sort of scene are the ones that are more kind of for opening things up again sooner than rather than later you know they're the ones that are basically pushing for stuff to be reopened at the peak of the virus and they're very concerned about the clubs and all this sort of stuff and they're the ones that are mostly putting on most of the kind of quote-unquote illegal events you remember that one in the field that went on that people were getting fined for and there was loads of um you know helium cancers on the floor um it does feel like that segment of people who are more prone to it and then the ones that are on social media complaining about everything are the ones that are more prone to um abide by the rules and wait until everything is perfectly safe until everyone gets back to a dance floor but again you know there's no uh there's no telling what's going to be left if you just wait for things to get back to that level and for the government to give permission so it does feel like there's a bit of a class warfare going on there. I'm not too sure what it is. I'm not too sure if this because one side of the scene feels like they're better than the other side. It feels as if like the tech house lot aren't necessarily worth anything and they're a waste of space and they're kind of like a smudge on the scene and they kind of embarrass everybody. Or if it's a thing of them just thinking, no, these guys are idiots, they're putting people's lives in danger and they shouldn't be doing this, they're being selfish and blah blah blah. I don't really know. But it does seem like there's a little bit of a class divide going on there for the most part i would say like between maybe the working class lot of people who are probably you know more prone to vote conservative than the more middle class social media lot of people who are definitely fans of jeremy corbyn and all that shit and i don't know that's maybe what i'm seeing again no politics no politics a political guy but just from my observation from the outdoors right you can see a couple of mixed race leads there but for the most part right it is a festival of whites it has to be said there is a random you know there's a couple of random um jamie jones looking guys in the crowd but for the most part it's just you know mad 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 whites having fun and enjoying themselves and i don't think it's a bad thing you know why it's having fun is not a bad thing and i want to obviously seems to enjoy it sika dj didn't like it sika dj said you're a truly dangerous person absolutely didn't encapsulate everything that's wrong with, with, um, with not just the scene i love but the world in general jesus christ damning thick entitled and selfish hell of a combo and you steal other people's music i didn't read the whole thing i just liked it so i can clip it so i can kind of come back to it as a bookmark but jesus um the rest of us are going to the wall but and doing the right thing you are making that's a weird quote isn't it with phrase the rest of us are going to the wall is okay um you are making the rest of us wait longer and longer if your protest quote unquote was about lobbying number 10 the rest of us would be there you just quote unquote want money denying covid insults 150,000 families of the dead fairly true a bit damning a little bit extreme i think these people don't really think that far ahead i think it's just you know good vibes right vibes only um no intelligence no no intelligence no foresight just vibes they're just thinking about the moment in at the moment now sort of similar to people that are throwing with these illegal sort of airbnb parties and shit people have been passing around on some very um illicit um social media apps and whatnot i've been seeing around the place people just you know they want to get their party on they want to let their hair down a bit and they don't really think too far ahead about how this could negatively impact the scene on a larger scale because i think people don't give a shit about the scene they just want to party they just want to get i don't know there needs to be this understanding there is a segment of the population that just like ha having a bit of a rave they like getting on it they like hanging out with their friends sweating listening to some songs shazamming a couple of records and you know recording some clips of to instagram they don't really care about the larger scene and what goes on the politics around night lineups and the diversity question they don't really care they just want to rave and you know have a dance and twiddle their thumbs in their air and bounce up and down when the drop comes in like that's all they care about and i think that's perfectly okay i think everyone can coexist but there does seem to be a little bit of a policing of the scene that I'm just not a big fan of personally, you know what I mean? And obviously, calling people thick and tired and selfish is just a little bit too much for me. It comes on and says here, 
I miss the days when I'd be light as everyone should be holed up instead of now everyone's concerned about videoing everything, watching what everyone's going on on their phone screen, even on the drop when they ain't completely in the moment, enjoying being free, still fixated on the effing. Fairly true. Um, I'll tell you what's worse than the phones that I rave, people moaning about phones that I rave and the boring one about the good old days. That's true. That's a good point. Um, yeah, so there seemed to be some sort of a divide there going on. Hannah once doesn't seem to really care. It seems like she has for being the reason we have to keep waiting for everything to open. Hannah once says, just me, or the tens of thousands of people who are there as well. Respectfully, completely disagree still, but it's your own. That's a bit of a snitch, Hannah. If you're, this is the thing as well. I think if you're going to be that person that wants to put on quote unquote play graves or do things, you know, that aren't necessarily allowed or might be ethically or morally, you know, bad just stand on it in it stand on it do your thing and just you know obviously be prepared that you're going to have as many as many, as many people are going to be out there kind of egging you on and saying how amazing you are there's also going to be a contingent of people that are going to you know completely um deride what you did <coughs> and call you out for on social media and you have to be okay with that you can't then start pointing fingers and saying doing the whole like what about ism what about all those people what about him and snitching on people that you were organizing a thing with or standing next to that's a bit that's a little bit um that's a bit lacking in any kind of backbone or anything you know you gotta stand on it you gotta stand on it but yeah people seem to be a bit split it says yeah if this is the shy if this shite is the scene then it can disappear without a trace tomorrow good riddance lockdown forever yeah i get it but hey man i think people have had enough man i don't know i just i just want to know the, the the like again i got a lot of time for secret dj um but i want to know when those guys are okay with things going back to normal like when's enough going to be enough for them um there has to be a time there has to be a limit there has to be a number that everyone kind of has and it can't just be what the government said because you know the government have dealt with this completely you know in the worst way possible right they fumbled the bag on so many occasions that they just can't be trusted to kind of steer us out of this in the correct manner you know um we're in the sort of reasonable time frame they're gonna have to we're gonna have to put some level of pressure on them think about all the stuff with sort of like um what's that thing called again oh what's the grant anyway all the grants um and all the support that people have been having during this time of lockdowns and covid most of it has come off the back of people protesting and keeping up kicking up a bit of a fuss at the moment now some events and festival stuff still haven't got proper insurance that's still a big issue so in order to i don't know this idea that we can just sit back cross our arms and wait for the government to allow us to go back outdoors and do what we want it's just a bit naive again i just don't trust them to do the right thing and there has to come a point where things just have to get back to some semblance of normality and we just have to also accept that there are certain people within our overall dance music electronic music scene just have different objectives when it comes to partying and going outdoors and some of them just want to get on it and go outside they don't care about the overall safety of people um in general or the impact it might have or maybe they might just downplay the virus and initially it solves and be people that kind of think it's a little bit over cooked a bit of you know the kind of um the threat to a certain segment of people that go to their events is maybe um you know there's maybe a bit too much importance put on it and all that stuff i don't know there might be covid in or that whatever it may be it's okay i don't necessarily see an issue with it it's okay everyone can coexist there just needs to come a point where we just get back to some sense of normality and you know this might be it for some people personally you couldn't catch me dead at one of these events but i understand the need for it i just wish we had a little bit more harmony i just wish we had more harmony